next guest grew up in a working class neighborhood in Tokyo, Japan. And he says that while hot pots may have become popular in Tokyo for a thousand years ago, these cozy hot pot dishes were a family favorite in his home while he was growing up. Today, he's the executive chef at Manhattan's acclaimed Matsuri restaurant. But when he goes home to his wife and two daughters, hot pots are always what he makes. And he loves them so much that he recently wrote this wonderful cookbook on the subject called Japanese Hot Pots. Comforting One Pot Meals. Please welcome Tadashi Ono, Tadashi-san. Thank you. Thank Very you nice for having to have you here. Right, right. So, Thank you, Marco. So yeah. explain to our audience what a Japanese hot pot is. I know Chinese. Right. Uh, and I think even in uh, Thailand, where I just got back from, hot pots are very popular. Right. So, uh, so in the Japanese culture, what exactly is a hot pot? Oh, well, it's a healthy, easy, comforting one pot meal you can share with family and good friends. Oh, so everything yes. in one pot. Everything is in one pot. Yeah. Yes. And um, and so four thousand years ago, I guess I guess it was easy because there were no stoves. Right. One fire. Right. And the pot would just sit on top of the fire, and they would add things to it. Exactly. Yeah. You put everything in there and just mix it together. And uh, any one ingredient that is essential to a hot pot? Well, we like to put tofu, you know, and uh, napa cabbage, uh -huh. and negi, which is a scallion. Right. And also greens, mushrooms. What about kombu? Is that essential? Kombu is essential, very show, essential. Show a piece of the kombu. Yes, this is a kombu seaweed. It's, it grows in the ocean. It dries out. Right. And you see all these white things. It's, it's the uh, umami. Umami is a... Uh, Flavor, and like the salt from, almost saltiness. Yeah. yeah, tasty. It's good. Mm, yeah. Delicious. Yeah, so good. that is uh, an essential ingredient, right. and you can buy that in uh, in uh, Japanese markets, in uh, gourmet markets, right. and Asia try to get markets, really good yes. quality. Right. Uh, in our audience is sitting Harris, who um, worked on the book. He's the co-author. Hi, Harris. Hi, Martha. Uh, Hi. This is a wonderful book. Oh, thank you. And. Uh, so did you work with Chef uh, and, and, and just uh, Oh, work? yeah. We, uh, we cooked uh, maybe three or four hot pots a day for a few months. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> After so, that, we ate a lot of pizza. So, uh, so if we don't have a clay pot, uh, what kind of, uh, you know, what we kind love, of pot should we use? We love enamel cast iron like La Crusade because they hold and distribute heat so evenly. Right. But cast iron works great, uh, like Dutch ovens or even stainless steel pots. One of the things we say in our book is, Use whatever pot you have. It's, you know, it's family cooking. It's really easy and flexible. Right. Now, um, our chef is also a potter. This is one of his beautiful pots. And I'm glad you kept it, even though it has a crack. You didn't <laughs> well, plan a crack. Well, I kind you? of planned it. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, kind oh, of. Oh, oh, I love yeah. this. So do you oh, cook in you. this, too? No, this is for the buds, oh. for the flowers. Oh, so, for yeah. the flowers. Oh, I you know, love that. You know, little earthy, you know, yeah. show flower more beautiful. Oh, in very sense, beautiful. Yeah, so. Oh, very beautiful. So but, let's cook. Let's make a, sure. we're going to make first a kabacha, which is the this beautiful little squash mm -hmm. hot pot. Yes. Okay. It's a Japanese pumpkin. Yes, we Japanese call, yeah. pumpkin, very yeah. nutritious. Right, very Lots much Lots of so. carotene yeah, and, of and potassium right. and other Vitamins things. So and you're using... Uh, dried shiitake mushrooms. Right. We're going to go uh, vegetarian totally oh, good. this time. So you're going to soak it uh, about five hours. Okay. Right so then they really have to reconstitute the dried exactly. mushroom. Exactly. At least okay. five hours. Overnight is ideal. Okay. Then we have this being soaked for overnight, I guess. It's here. And we're going to strain to get out the shiitake mushroom. And do you save the water? Uh, of course. Oh, this yes. is all the, all the uh, uh, flavor oh, is good. in there. Okay. okay? Um, Shiitake mushroom, you're going to stem it. I see. And yeah. then I slice them? Yeah, slice or, them or in them. half. Oh, in half only. Yeah, okay. half is fine. Yeah. So, like um, Tadashi-san is, I call you Tadashi-san, right? <laughs> you so can okay? call me Tadashi, please. Okay, Tadashi. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, is, um, has the most delicious restaurant in New York. It's uh, one of my favorite Japanese restaurants in the, um, in the, um, but the name of the hotel, I forgot. Oh my Maritime. gosh. Maritime. Yes, Hotel, Maritime Hotel, yes. Okay. On, um, is it 19th Street? Oh, seven, uh, 16th, 16th Street. 16th Street. And 9th Avenue. And 9th Avenue. Yes. Oh, it is so fun. Go downstairs into a wonderland of, of Japan. Right, right. Did you design all those beautiful lanterns and things? Oh, uh, I have a partner that, yes. that he designed oh, those lanterns so and all okay, that. Oh, so good. Okay, so now the Napa cabbage. Yeah, Napa cabbage, you're going to slice it also like this, diagonal a little bit, okay. so it, it cooks faster. And also, uh, Looks nicer, you yes. know, things like this. Okay. So not too, not too fine. Yes. Uh, beforehand, we're gonna add uh, into this sauce uh, 
half cup of mirin. Oh, mirin. Yes. Okay, which is a sweet. It's sweetened sake and half cup of soy sauce. Okay. okay. And then this. And in the pot, we're going to add the uh, kombu underneath. And we add all these vegetables. So what's that? Daikon radish. Daikon? It's a big radish right there. And uh, uh, this is the kabocha pumpkin. All here. cut into yes, pieces. All cut into the pieces. Same size. Yes. Carrot. Oh, carrots. Taro root, which mm. is a small hairy, hairy potato like that. And shiitake mushroom, uh, napa cabbage, cabbage. And so this just all and this goes. This is shimeji mushroom. Oh, I love these. Oh, good, good, oh, good so texture, good. right? And good, yes. good flavor too. All in here. And the negi. And, yes, negi on top which of is it. This, which is scallion. Red scallion, Japanese style. And we put the sauce into it. All that great all the, liquid. All the thing. Oh, wait, yeah. Let's put these in there too. Yes. Oh. Why not, right? Yes. We, just, we have all this, yes, good. Yes. And we cover it and heat it for about, let it boil, then after it boils, you heat it about like 10 minutes yes. to cook through. And that's it? Then after 10 minutes, you're gonna add udon noodle Ooh, in good. here. And you know, it's, it hasn't been 10 minutes, so I'm not gonna so put it in. So you use but, the yeah. fresh udon like this? Fresh udon, this is pre-cooked udon. Okay. It sells like this in the Chinese or Japanese okay. market. In here. And here's one and that's... After 10 minutes, you put udon. <gasps> it's gonna look like look this. Look at that, how yes. delectable. Yes. And this is a beautiful pot. It is, yeah. It's from oh. Iga, Iga area of Japan. And it's, it's they're and famous no, for the pot, clay no pot. No more yeah. seasoning. Yes. An easy one pot meal that I think would just be perfect during these cold right. months tonight. Oh, oh my gosh, I want that tonight. Or actually, how about right now? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I could have yeah. some of that right well, now. Well, it's cold outside, so it it's is. perfect. Perfect. And, uh, shiitake. Oh, and that would grace mushroom. any table. Yeah. And uh, coming up next, Sadashi yeah. shares a hot pot that will get everyone at the table involved. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.